Hello, welcome to game four. We have a kingdom with some actions, bizarre, acting, troop, herald, some draw, hunter, watchtower, ghost ship, embassy, gain, grave robber, plus buy, forager, trashing, forager. Looks like you can build. And for gain, there's also populate and way of the rat. So we build, obviously. We build here. Um, we want to build towards populate because we will take all of these action cards. That's not an exaggeration. We will take all of them. All of them are good and useful and can be helpful to the end game. Great Hunter is a terrible draw card. Convert them to provinces with great problem. Alright, so how do we open? We have shelters, so that doesn't really matter. I don't know why I said that. We open with our forager. We want to trash. Definitely one of these open opening buys should be a forager. What should the next one be? Another forager is possible. A silver is possible. We do need some money to get to populate. Remember, we are building towards populate. Ten is a lot of money. So, you do have to build engine-like to get to 10, I think. Embassy on money. I don't know if that will take too long to get to 10. Not Maybe not too long, but you don't trash, you don't build anything along the way if you play with just embassy on money. So, the populate will not be as powerful. So, we both open Forager and Watchtower. Why Watchtower? Let's pause here. Why did I open with Watchtower? Well, a few reasons. One, I did open with Forager and there's Necropolis in the deck as well. So maybe I get some decent draw out of the Watchtower. Two, I could top deck things, which is always a reason to pick up Watchtower. As I did here, I top deck a Silver trying to fish for five. Doesn't happen. But I can top deck things there with the Watchtower. Um, those are the two main reasons why I picked up the Watchtower. And you'll see later there are some cute ways to drop your hand size. You may already see how to do it here. Uh, but there are some cute ways on how to drop your hand size in the kingdom. Beyond just Forager. Of course, beyond just Forager. So we both get an extra Forager on our first shuffle. Forager, Watchtower, draw for my opponent gets to 5. Could be go ship, go so bizarre instead. Okay, I get five. Could be go ship. Go ship is a good card. That's also a reason to get Watchtower because um, Watchtower just draws the cards anyway. You know, Watchtower basically nullifies the go ship attack. So I got I get a bazaar instead. The bazaar also is money. It's a coin. We need coins to get to populate. Please remember. Alright, so Forager for my opponent. I do see Forager and Watchtower here, which is very nice for me. So they got an Acton Troop, right? Alright, so, so pause, 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 pause. The Acton Troop is good. And the Acton Troop is very clever. Very, very clever. Because you now that I have the Watchtower, I have two Foragers. Um, I could start you know, using the Watchtower for draw, and I could start playing actions out of their usual order, you know, and then play the Watchtower to draw a lot of cards. Particularly, I can use Way of the Rat, discard down, then draw back up with Watchtower, which is cute, right? That is only made possible by villagers. Well, you could have lots of villages and then do it, but the acting troop lets you do it more quickly. And I get to top deck my acting troop, which is brilliant. I get to do the tricks before my opponent. Okay, I see there's a trick. Uh, skateboard trick. Gains a bazaar, buys another watchtower. I buy a second watchtower myself. Uh, because one will be to draw, one will be to top deck. That's the idea for me. Um, they get some draw from their watchtower. They don't have their villagers yet, because otherwise they would have discarded that bazaar top deck the bazaar then drawn into the bazaar played that bazaar look at skateboard tricks 
They get a ghost ship. I don't care about the ghost ship, especially now that I have two watchtowers. Eight. I am going to continue to pile on the bazaars here. Coins are important for populate. I think about farmer's market because I need money for populate, but the first player of farmer's market is trash. It's our copper. What is better than copper? Silver. So we buy the silver here. Might seem like a lot, but $10 is also a lot. Alright, so here, look, skateboard tricks. Go ship. Ha, <laughs> we spit on this go ship. Um, they tra my opponent trashes their acting troop, and then they get to play their go ship. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, go ship, come on, come on. You and your best attack in Dominion, right? Right? We will capitalize on that here. So I top deck the Necropolis and another Watchtower and it will be time for Skateboard Tricks. I thought my opponent was going to pull a Skateboard Trick there and draw 6 with Watchtower but the last card in the hand was fortunately not a Watchtower. Gets a Herald instead. Discard to the Rat, top deck the Bazaar, draw 6, one of which is a guaranteed Bazaar. I find the other Watchtower on top of that. Wow, get the trash with Forager, draw a heap of cards. Draw all the way through the deck. Thank you, Forager. Boom, bang, bang. Populate first. Wow. <laughs> Watchtower did work. Watchtower did a heap of work. And like I said at the beginning of the game, we will take every single action card here. All of them are playable. Alright, so skateboard tricks of my opponent. They gain a watchtower draw with another watchtower. Not quite to populate. Get a, get They get a gold on that hand. I understand the gold because you don't want to buy any action ever. When you could just populate and get all of them. For the low, low cost of 10 coin. I actually go ahead and pick up a gold here because populate doesn't get you gold. It'll get you everything else. So I said, yeah, that makes sense to me. I'll take the gold. All right. So um, my opponent plays through here. I think they miss will populate again here. They only get up to nine. So they don't find their gold, I think. Either way, they don't get up to 10, which is unfortunate for them. Really unfortunate for them they hit me with the ghost ship again what is this ghost ship really you do not hurt me i am now impervious to your attacks bizarre watchtower for them and as soon as we hit second populate we don't even hit second populate here and my opponent resigns um so we we got the uh popul first populate and that kinda killed the game from that point on. Yeah, same skateboard trick like last time, right? Discard a treasure to gain a card goes on top of the deck because of the watchtower. Then you draw more cards with the reduced hand size of the watchtower. That equals a win. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.